Boy Boy Games. Whoop whoop. All right. I have been having, having quite, quite some, some trouble um, over the past whatever uh, uploading this. So I finally got the Wi-Fi uh, up at school. I was an idiot and just realized I needed to switch over um, to dadding off my computer on my phone because um, I'm an idiot like that. And I don't think things are. But we're going to try 10 minute episodes from now on for two reasons. One, for some reason, whenever I try to upload such from Upload Studio, which I'm using, such a big um, file, it hasn't been working. Um, also, you know, I think it'd be better to put out more individual videos because typically, you know, people don't want to sit down for 20 minutes but they'll sit down for 10 minutes, so we're gonna try it. Here's the edgy backstory, too. It's like, my immortal, the greatest fan fiction ever. They read at an anime convention I went to, it was my first time hearing it. Um, it was very, very special. It was a lot of fun shit at anime conventions, like, uh, Joe was with me and my girlfriend was with me, but um, there was this guy who put up all these um, posters, I guess you could say, early around the place that were like, Doge, find, much reward, magic, and like stuff like that. It was weird, but it was a picture of a guy in a samurai suit and a doge mask, but I found him, and I'm like, Oh, hey, I found you. You're the one. He's like, yeah, yeah, I am. So then he handed me this really derpy picture of a banana, and it was great. And then Joe was like, I'm like, I'm going to treasure this for the rest of my life. And Joe's like, I will hold him accountable to that. Which is great, you know? Like, you didn't trust people to at that, because, like, he dropped his wallet, and literally it had, like, $50 and three credit cards in there. And we went back like 20 minutes later. They had the lost and found. Everything was in there. Physical cash was in there. The cards were in there. So, yeah, like, for the most part, trust people. So, I don't know. I like that. I like that a lot. They have a monopoly of the world's media. News, advertising, entertainment, mind control. Yeah, and surveillance. Ooh, they got mind control. They're spooky. Oh, this this is the one where we get to fight Fox News. Forget about this. They're basically Fox News. They're not called Fox News, but for copyright reasons. But they're basically Fox News. It's pretty great. Bob Barber is a demon. He's more than just a fucking dick. And he's in that tower. Not that tower. That one. In limbo, that's not a reflection. That's, That's the, real, the deal. real deal. It's a prison. And Barbus. Oh, I, I, I nailed that. No <laughs> I've only played through this like no once. Other than this. All right, here we go. I remember this part really bothered me, and you'll see why in a second. Just because it does not make any sense. Just, just watch, okay? Okay. Granite, I'll give him he has superpowers. Watch him fall, though. Head first, probably about, like, five stories, I don't know, into water. That would... Oh, wait. Yep, yeah, it's head first. That would, uh, that would definitely kill someone. Um, and then to make it even better, there we go. There's that hard landing we were looking for. Isn't that great? Isn't that just great? Well, Bob, now I get why your point of view is so upside down. All right, here we go. Remember, I liked this stage a lot because um, the platforming. I don't know; it just seemed cool. When I first played through it, so we'll we'll, we'll try for it. Probably gonna try five too. I'll pick that up again and try that one out. I'm still debating the classics, trying those just cause. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see what I actually have time to record and do, and I don't know. The, the situation's just been tricky. I'm getting, you know, for those of you who don't know, like, Upload Studio, it's, it's a great tool for people who don't have a capture card like myself. Um, people who are starting out like myself. 
However, that being said, it's very flawed, and it corrupts things constantly. Um, I don't know. And it it kind of worries me a little with the new YouTube, you know, thing they're doing, and if you don't know what that is, pretty much they're going to start deleting videos that can't, um, can't make money, but I don't think that's really clearly defined yet, whether that's just like, you know, if they're like child friendly or not, I guess, or if we're talking a more, um, like things you're not gaining fast enough, which I get in a way, because video hosting is incredibly expensive, but, especially on the scale they do it, but I think they have the money, first off, because, you know, Google's a huge corporation. Second thing, I think, is, like, I, I get it if it's someone who did not get more than, like, 10 views in a year. Like, that's, that's reasonable to me, you know? Um, just because it's like, yeah. Um, or another thing they could do that I think would work would be, like, limit how much you could put on there. And if you want to put more, I hate them that, that I'm saying this but pay, because that's what a lot of, like, video and, like, podcasting websites will do, so they'll do stuff like that, and, you know, that is what it is, I'm tired, but, I just think, how it seems, like, I don't know how it's actually going to be, and first off, I think it's going to be one of those things that gets repealed immediately, um, just because people don't go to YouTube for, you know, like, professional content. They go to YouTube for like, and I say this, I don't say this in a bad way, but amateur content. So, you know, stuff, it's it's like how public television used to be, you know? People want to see, you know, like, people just like them making stuff. They don't. And of course, you know, there's different levels of popularity in that. But like, I feel like the best, like, YouTubers, so to speak, are the ones who, like, do really good jobs, but still stay true to their, um, like, kind of roots in a way. That's why I like, I like Critical a lot. Like, his stuff has definitely evolved since, like, you know, his, his original content was just him playing essentially really bad games, and he would take those, and he'd, like, put some, like, really kind of, like, just odd jokes over them, you know, kind of semi- sexual just to be a little funny um and he would do that and it worked great for him you know um but he, he moved on now he makes kind of you know he's got the moist meter which is a little too critical of some things but it's gotten better um but like he has good quality stuff and it's never like you know he went he didn't do like you know what like a bright or is it bright side or whatever that I don't know, that one where it's just like they wow. spam out random videos, like, they, Never thought it's I'd not like a company video. thing, you know, it's like, he, he's a real dude just doing it, which I appreciate, but the same way, you can tell he puts like a day's work of work into it, and, you know, does, does a decent job, like, he cares, you know, he takes it, you know, as a profession where like, you know, for me, this is more of, like, just a hobby, but still, like, you know, whatever people take it as, you know, I don't know. Personally, I would never, even if I got, like, monetization and all that, I would never just career this out, because that just, you know, I want to do other things, but yeah, I'd, I'd keep with it. It's, it's kind of a nice little extra, if it ever happens, but that's... Probably not going to become a dream anymore because of this new thing, but, you know, anyhow. It's kind of that, I guess. Alright, boost. Boost. Gonna have to take the detour. There we go. Oh. No. Oh. Alright, here we go. So stay 
tuned for part two. It's going to end shortly here. But I hope you've enjoyed as always. Um, you know. Alright. Have a great day. Yeet yeet.